Okay. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, algae. Uh, I opened my news, Google News today, and I saw that algae was closing the mobile division. This is really bad because uh, with algae gone, innovation in the smartphone industry is gone. And actually innovation in the smartphone industry was dying already. And this is caused by the tech community. We are not encouraging innovation. Every single smartphone that we come out nowadays, take any tech reviewers, they will take that smartphone and say, oh, how does it compare to the iPhone? Or how does it compare to the Galaxy S21? How does it compare to the Galaxy this, Galaxy that? Oh, well now why not throw some pixel in the, the area and say, oh, this is the camera. Like, people in the tech community are not taking smartphones for what they are. They are not thinking about the innovation anymore. They are reviewing smartphones and tech devices as if they were camera gears. Nowadays, we use our smartphone to shoot most of the photos. However, for any serious camera or photographer enthusiast, they will actually go ahead and buy a camera gear if they want to take it seriously. Because if it's just for Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, that you're shooting, any smartphone that you're using nowadays should be fine for you. You don't need the latest iPhone or the latest Galaxy S line to basically shoot a photo for Instagram. But seriously, who does take a photo and just post it? Everyone, all of them on Instagram, actually majority of Instagram, even influencers or stuff like that. I mean, they all take DSLR camera or mirrorless camera I mean, smartphones are mirrorless camera, but I'm talking about the full-fledged camera gear to take photos and post it on Instagram. And Instagram is going to reduce the resolution anyway. So you can take like a 40 or 100 megapixel uh, photo. It's not going to show on Instagram as a 100 megapixel photo. It's going to be tall. Like that happened with my pixel when I took an astrophotography last uh, year. I think it was in December. Or November and I posted it on Instagram it didn't look like what I took as a photo but every smartphone that came out lately in the last three or four years actually I would say the last five years they were all taken as camera gears to the point that where they came out with proper innovation no one cared oh those innovations were called gimmicks losing LG in the smartphone industry is a very big loss they were the very first company to come out with a capacitive touchscreen smartphone. Like the fact that we have touchscreen on smartphone and everything. LG was the first, before the iPhone. LG were the first to implement wide-angle cameras. And now every smartphone in the smartphone industry, they have wide-angle cameras. When LG came out with it in the LG G5 or G4, I can't remember, it was considered as gimmicks. That gimmicks now is everywhere. The self-killing smartphone, LG innovated on that. The LG G5, you could actually remove your battery from a very slim smartphone. Not that, not too slim, but it was still possible to remove your battery. Then everyone was like, well, it's not really modular. It's not really this, it's not really that. They didn't come out with other uh, uh, tools or other modules or modes or whatever. But how are they going to come with other modes if you guys already told people Oh, it's not a good thing. LG, they came out with a swiveling uh, camera phone. A phone that you could actually recommend to people. No one did. Well, why? Because it didn't live up to the iPhone camera. Yeah, innovation is dying for the sake of photography in smartphones. For the sake of Snapdragon 8XX. When a phone doesn't have a Snapdragon 8XX, it's not worth mine. It's not worth being praised. I own the OnePlus 7 Pro, the 5G version. The last smartphone that I thought OnePlus did something cool on it, and I loved it, it had a pop-up camera. And yeah, when it came out, people were like, oh, we have a full screen. However, the pop-up camera, the pop-up camera is mechanical. The pop-up camera is going to fail. Having the mechanical stuff on the smartphone is going to fail. This is going to fail, blah, blah, blah. It's going to fail. Most people are not even using their smartphone for two years, max three years. The pop-up camera wouldn't even fail. 
I've been using this smartphone heavily and I use the pop-up camera a lot, especially during the, uh, the pandemic. Uh, I was doing a lot of video calls. So the pop-up camera was coming out a lot. This never failed. It didn't. And OnePlus told us that time it wouldn't fail. And the other companies that were starting to actually do something cool like that, they all gave up because what? Well, well, you know, it has mechanical this, it has a mechanical that. So they all went to one thing, the whole punch, and they all look the same. There's no one, no companies that is courageous enough to come out with, you know, crazy stuff. Except one, LG was still courageous to come out with a lot of great stuff. Every year I was always excited for what the new LG smartphone was going to be because I was sure that they were going to come with something great. I think in 2019 they came out with uh, that LG G8 uh, and you could actually use your hand to control it. Uh, it was using your vein. I tried it at MWC 2019 and it was actually great. I went online on YouTube some days later to see the YouTube videos about that phone. Don't care about it. It's just a gimmick. I'm like, but this was cool. This never failed when I tried it. Why does it fail for you guys? Let's take foldable smartphones. Some with dual screen, some with one screen that you fold. Tech reviewers went mad about foldable smartphones. Well, it, it's not worth it yet. Well, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. The LG came out with foldable smartphones. When I say foldable, they, you had the second screen and it was actually useful. Um, I didn't use it personally, I just tried it. Uh, but it was actually useful eh? and I saw this going somewhere and honestly it wasn't really expensive. What did the reviewer think about that? Nothing. And obviously they wouldn't think anything about that because they barely use the thing for one week, two weeks, three weeks for some of them and then that's it, throw the phone away. Oh, how are you expecting those people to actually know something about those smartphones? Most of them they're video producers and photography enthusiasts. They will only care about the camera and OEMs are just following them. The only area where smartphone manufacturers are innovating now is just the camera. Imagine a world where you will only have two options when you want to buy a smartphone. Like let's even apply this to the car industry, which they're actually trying to kill, but it's not gonna happen anyway. Like imagine if you only had two options, Tesla that they love so much and another company, that's it. If it's not Tesla or that company, that's it. Because nowadays that's what they're trying to tell you. Well. If it's not a Tesla, it's not worth it. Well, there are so many other cars you could buy. We are slowly going towards the situation that we currently have in the aerospace industry, especially on the commercial side, where you only have two companies dominating that industry, Boeing and Airbus. When you're an airliner nowadays and you want to actually buy proper aircraft, uh, well, you either go Boeing or you go Airbus. Yeah, you may have Bombardier, which was finally bought by Airbus anyway, or Embraer, which is probably going to be bought by Boeing. The fact that uh, LG closed their mobile division, this means that a lot of manufacturers now will be scared of innovating. I mean, those few that wanted to still try innovating. If a big one like LG is closing, a lot of the others, they won't want to innovate anymore. And yeah, we will end up with very boring stuff in the tech community and this will be our own fault and that's why I was very mad at uh, a lot of uh, members of the tech community today on Twitter who were like oh god LG I will miss you you guys were the one who told people not to buy LG smartphones and now what you're trying to mourn LG you're trying to say that you're going to miss LG when LG was innovating you guys didn't take it seriously with LG dead, innovation in the smartphone industry is dead. And I really don't see any more innovation in the smartphone industry. They're just going to push more cameras and cameras and cameras, make bigger, bigger, bigger cameras at the back of your phone uh, that you will probably not use anyway. And I hope this will change in the future. Because if we don't have more competition, the more competition that everyone is like, 
in the deaf community we want more competition yet you guys kill the competition and push the competition away anyway thank you for watching my video